Holy, don't the curse of my video is holy. That's the first big buck. I had walked by me. You want to hear a good story for a rainy day? Saturday morning, bright and early. I'm dragging Merle's ass into the bush. He's gonna push me to go to that spot. And uh, we're gonna get after it and hopefully get that buck. So we'll catch you later. If it keeps pouring like this, I'm gonna be screwed. I wanted to come out for an evening sit and I was calling for 30% chance of rain by 6 p.m. When I got in here, it was only 3.30. And as soon as I got Halfway up my tree, it started pouring, and I didn't bring my umbrella. I found the cover for my backpack, and that's the best I can do. I'm in it now, I'm not getting down. It's a really good spot. I have to give it to my son. He bought his first bow last year. And this year he has access to 30 acres and he decided to take the reins and take control and get out on his own. And I'm super proud of him. Two days ago, I got home from off the road. I just walked in the door. It's about 3.15 p.m. My phone rings and it's my son. I answered, I said, hello. He says, Dad, can you hear me? I said, yeah, what's up? He says, I just had a doe walk by me at 18 yards. Five minutes later, a small buck came out behind her with his tail up, following her. And he's all beside himself. I could tell he was shook up and Next thing you know, he says, I gotta go. And he hangs up on me. About 4.30 p.m., he calls me back. He says, Dad, I just had a big buck come up. Followed the trail of that doe and the other buck with its tail up. Started kicking leaves around. He said, but my bow was too far to my right on the tree, on the hanger. I couldn't reach it right, and I didn't want to spook him. Big buck. I had walked by me. And that sucks that he didn't stop. He stopped and dug at the mock scrape a little bit. But he looked at me the whole time. By the time I grabbed my bow. By the time I grabbed my bow. He just kept walking. I couldn't get him to stop.
saw him coming 40 yards away. From now on, I'm sitting with my bow in my hand. Because if I had my bow in my hand, that's a dead deer. That's disappointing. So he ended up not taking the shot. I told him just stay put. Then might circle around and come back through. So at the end of the night, I was settled down. He gets home from being in the woods and he shared that video with me. And sure enough, those does were bedding down the bottom on the south side probably 40 or 50 yards from them. And those two bucks were bedding down behind the does. And as soon as those does got up and moved, those bucks followed behind. So that's telling me that it's beginning. The bucks are starting to follow the does. They know something's coming and it's time. My son's gonna get back in there Saturday afternoon, probably around noon, and hopefully he can get it done. Can't wait to see what happens. Anyway, this rain's not letting up. Been raining steady ever since I got in here. I'm gonna tough it out anyway, see if something moves.